The Edmonton Oilers have been busy during draft day, and they add Reed Schaefer late in the first round. Brett Holden of Locked On Oilers is joining Brendan Piller of Locked On Senators, and I'm Gil Martin of Locked On NHL. Brett, your thoughts about the pick and the trade? Well, Reed Schaefer, first of all, the pick with Reed Schaefer is a guy that has kind of been circulating in the media and with uh, Oilers Twitter recently, a guy that uh, played against the Edmonton Oil Kings in the WHL Finals. So some Edmonton, Oil, or Edmonton hockey fans really got some time to watch him and get a little uh, uh, acclimated, I guess, to, to Reed Schaefer. And it wasn't like it was a series that he was quiet in exactly. Very physical. I mean, got off in the first game of the WHL. HL final with an assist and just continued on with uh, the rest of the the playoffs with a, just just a very solid uh, runoff I guess for for him there now with the trade it was interesting because like I said yes Reed Schaefer has been that guy that a lot of Edmonton media more specifically Bob Stoffer has been pushing for the Edmonton Oilers but a lot of people thought they would get him at nine or at 29, excuse me. They moved back with that trade, obviously giving up Cassie and swapping the 29th with the 32nd and giving up two futures, which is a little pricey. But again, who, with all due respect to Zach Cassie and who wants to pay Zach Cassie in what, $3.8 million for what he's currently doing? Not many teams. So is it a little bit of an overpay? Maybe. But the Oilers end up getting their guy at 32, and I think a lot of Oilers fans and the Edmonton Oilers organization are pretty pumped to get him there. And, and as far as Cassian goes, how do you replace it? Well, I mean, uh, hopefully eventually a guy like Reed Schaefer who did uh, uh, did – Reaches growth spurt. He said at 16, he's six foot three, 214 pounds, but it's not going to be immediate uh, or immediate uh, replacement for Zach Cassie. And you're going to have to go out and take a look at the free agent market, take a look who's available for a little cheaper, maybe, maybe uh, somebody in uh, the trade market as well. But it, it, the thing about Zach Cassian is especially early on in his Oilers tenure, he was a very, very important player to the Edmonton Oilers. Once it kind of went downhill recently, honestly, there's a lot of players in the Oilers organization right now who can step into a, a role like that. I'm looking at a guy like Dylan Holloway, who does kind of have a, a little bit of a, a, a tough side to him. He played in the AJHL, so he knows uh, the Western game as well. But he also has that scoring touch that, well, I don't want to say that Zach Cassian had a scoring touch at all, but uh, when he was uh, along with the Edmonton Oilers early in his tenure, he was scoring some pretty decent goals and pretty big goals for the Oilers. So, Brett, the goaltending situation in Edmonton, always an issue. What do you see the team doing this offseason to fill it? Well, I mean, the most intriguing thing happened earlier this morning or during uh, uh, the preamble to the draft, and that was the trade for Alexander Georgiev. That a lot of people really didn't see that coming, especially going to the uh, the Colorado Avalanche, and that freeze up Darcy Kemper. The talk a lot has been around Jack Campbell, but I think now that we see Darcy Kemper's time in Colorado coming to an end, or not quite officially, but it's basically written on the walls here. I think Edmonton, the Edmonton Oilers are going to take a really big stab and a really, really make a big push for Darcy Kemper because before he did end up in Colorado, it was between Colorado or the Edmonton Oilers. Now the Edmonton Oilers, when they lost out on ja Jacob Markstrom, now they can go and say, hey, this was our guy a couple years ago. He's available again. Now he's a Stanley Cup winner. <laughs> and we got some free space as well with the cap space after that trade of Zach Cassian. Brandon, any, any idea what it would take to get Darcy Kemper? It's going to be very interesting. And I think um, the Edmonton Oilers, like they need to make a push to change something in the crease. And now they finally have the ability to do that. So freeing up that cap space with getting rid of Cassian, I think is going to help out a lot. And, it's going to be very interesting to see the offseason that the Oilers have because, like Brett mentioned, they cannot afford to miss out on another uh, number one goalie because 
they can't just <laughs> this year they don't have the option of going back to Smith and Koskinen them because they're they're not going to be around. So this is going to be a big off season for the Edmonton Oilers, and I like this Reed Schaefer pick because he puts up points and he had one hell of a playoff run, twenty one points in twenty five games, and you you add the size there as well. This is a nice way to end off the first round for the Oilers. No question about that, Brett. You can learn more about the Oilers and follow them on a day-to-day basis on Locked On Oilers. Brett, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for having me.